Oladipo and Joel Embiid. Kyrie Irving is a starting guard. And the guy who led East guards in balloting is Bradley Beal. And Bradley Beal joins us now. A uh, first time as a starter, third time as an all-star. Bradley, congratulations to you. And um, look, I know disappointing probably isn't a strong enough word to describe how you felt last year uh, around this time, but how gratifying is it to be a starter? Oh, man, it's a blessing for sure. Uh, you know, for me, realizing that, you know, they picked the 24 best guys in the league and there's so many guys who are, who are deserving to be here, you know, who are deserving to play in the game. And there's guys who are more than deserving to start. Um, so I never take that for granted. You know, I'm truly honored and thankful for the fans that voted, you know, for my peers, the coaches, other players around the league. Um, you know, I'm definitely appreciative of that, you know, but it definitely motivates me to just continue to work harder, um, you know, continue to be the best that I can possibly be. Uh, but last year it was, it was definitely tough being snubbed and, uh, it, was, it definitely, I guess, in a way, kind of served as a little bit of motivation coming into this year of just constantly, just constantly putting the work in, uh, trusting my work ethic, trusting the work I put in, and just letting my game speak for itself. Bradley, uh, coming into this season, did you say to yourself, I'm going to lead the league in scoring, and now that you are leading the league in scoring, is this something that you try to maintain every night? Uh, honestly, Shaq, I didn't come into the year saying, you know, I want to lead the league in scoring. Um, I think the game is just honestly slowing down for me and I'm just just taking advantage of it, you know, and I found niches in the game that, you know, that benefit me and that I'm able to score easily. And, uh, you know, I'm just going to continue to take advantage of those opportunities. Um, and to the, your second question, honestly, I kind of do, you know, uh, having a scoring title would be dope. I think that would be pretty cool. Uh, but at the same time, I know how tough that is. Uh, so I just try to give my best effort in, in trying to, you know, rally my team to wins as much as I possibly can. Some nights it's going to require me to score a lot of points. Some nights it doesn't. Uh, but I always have my foot on the gas with that aggressive mentality. Well, uh, Bradley, number one, I want to give you kudos because, man, I, I've been on bad teams before. And to go out there and do your thing every night, it, it takes tremendous uh, courage and honor, man. So I, even though you're leading the league, it's, it's a great honor. So congratulations. That's my first point I want to make is I tell people, man, it's hard to go to work. <laughs> you know, they say you play 82 games. It's like 125 when you when things aren't going good. Mm -hmm. But what, what, what's got to click for y'all in the second half of the season uh, to, for y'all guys to make a playoff push? Uh, we have to be more consistent. You know, it's – we, we show our hand way too many times. You know, we play some of the best teams, championship caliber teams in the league. And, you know, we play at a, a super level, you know, and then, you know, we play the middle of the pack teams and, you know, teams who are where we are and we get blasted, you know, so we have to just be more consistent, you know, trust our efforts, trust our process. And honestly, COVID hit us early on in the year. You know, we had seven to eight of our players that had it, you know, so we were down a lot of guys we had. Guys from the G League, we picked up guys who, you know, didn't know our system, and it was it was definitely fresh, and we were kind of learning things on the fly, but now we're starting to get our rhythm back. Guys are healthy, um, and so we're, we're kind of putting it together. We just won three straight, you know, so we haven't done that. And I couldn't tell you how long, honestly. So, you know, for one, that feels good, but two, we just have to continue to build on the momentum that we have and just be more consistent on the defense of them. Well, Bradley, you know, you, you guys, I'm looking at your records. You, you, you look at the loss column, you, you know, 16, the team who's in six has one – less loss than you guys in terms of the loss column. So you can go qu pretty quickly with a four or five game winning streak. But my question is, for every player, I think, in their career, there's a switch that turns on. And you, and you kind of remember, like, when this happened. When did it happen where you like, I could score in this league so easy? You know, 32 a night, 33 basically a night. Like, when, is, when did the switch happen for you and what year? Do you remember the game? Do you remember the incident, the workout? When you said this is the switch is turned on. You know what? I was with my trainer. I think about this all the time. I was with my trainer, Drew Hanlon, about two or three summers ago. And we asked ourselves, you know, do we think we can get to 30 points a game? At the time, I was at like 23 or 25. And uh, uh, he said, yeah, you know, you got to get to the free throw line more, be more aggressive, get to the basket, you know, be more consistent with the three ball and, you know, take more threes. And, you know, you might get there. And sure enough, you know, last year I was at 30. And, you know, I kind of evaluated myself in offseason. Okay, how can I maintain this level and be better, be even better? And uh, honestly, Kenny, the game is just slowing down. It's just slowing down. I'm able to make reads. 
And I'm just taking advantage of everything that, you know, the defenses are presenting to me. You know, I'm taking a lot of mid-range shots that analytic guys hate. Um, and so I'm, I'm just kind of getting what I want um, on the floor as best as I can. Bradley Beal, 33 a night. First time starter in an all-star game. We will see you on uh, Sunday, March 7th down here in Atlanta. Nice going, man. Congratulations, right. brother. Thank you, fellas. Let's uh, check social as we uh, wrap up I, I, with... Uh, I, 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 I,